Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Today I want to show you a really quick and cute Halloween project that you could use for um, you know giving to somebody special in terms of it's just being a package or a larger package I guess is the right word. Anyways, so there's going to be a little card that goes with it. So I've got a 3x3, three three, well 3x6 three um, elegant eggplant and a 25 by 25 inch piece of basic black cardstock here. And what I'm going to do first is I've mounted that cardstock and then I'm going to go around my outside edge and I'll just show you really quickly how I'm going to do my paper piercing. So I'm just lining up this skinny black line with the middle seam of my card and then this skinny back black line is lined up with the edge of the card. So you can see here that I'm going around the card just to add a little bit of a decorative touch. I'm just going to line it up there. My holes aren't going to be perfectly lined up, but I'm okay with that. And I won't bore you with the details, but I'm going to go all the way around the card to do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my white gel pen, and I'm just going to kind of color in each of the holes. And it's just going to add a little bit of a, well, I don't know if dramatic's the right word, but a little bit of an effect there. So I'll go around and I'll do that, and um, you'll see that you know, on the finished picture that this will be done. If your Whisper White blobs up in any of the holes, just take a piece of cardstock and push it out and it'll um, come out of the holes no problem there. So there you go. Now my next step is I've got a two and a quarter by two and a quarter piece of the Night and Day Designer Series paper and I'm going to use my half inch hole punch and I'm just going to punch out two little holes side by side on a bit of an angle and before I mount that on, actually no, let's put this on here. I'm going to stick that on to my card front. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to peel that back, is I've just taken about a two and a half inch piece of the 5 8 black grow green ribbon and I just folded it in half and I'm just sticking that underneath just for a little extra dimension there on my card. And my very last step, using just a couple of blobs of crystal effects, I've got myself some little googly eyes here that are probably a quarter of an inch, I'd say. And I'm just going to put those on my card front. And I've got myself a really, really, really quick, cute Halloween card to go with my bag. So again, you'll see that finished card at the end. And now for the bag, what we're going to do is we're using the Fancy Box die from the Big Shot um, Stampin' Up. And what we're going to do here is just, I'll show you how to assemble the box. Easiest way to do any box that you ever make is this end tab. If you've made it properly, it'll fold over. And then when you fold your box in half, this will want to line up perfectly. And you've got yourself the base of your box. So your shell is built. I'm going to then put my tabs. Oh, I did this backwards. Oh, well, my tabs are going to go down. But this one's upside down. Usually you have your trapezoids on the outside, but not a big deal. And I'll just put some extra pressure here on the inside just to make sure that's sealed and I recommend using sticky strip for a project like this. And again, just like you saw on the card, I've got a piece of basic black cardstock here. And I've already pre-punched the holes for you to see. So I'm going to do that same idea with the googly eyes on the box. Okay, and I'll put the crystal effects on. You'll see that the googly eyes when I'm done. And the last step is I'm just going to put a thread a piece of ribbon through. So I'm using the big hole on the top of the aisle. I'm going to punch that on both sides. And then I'm just going to feed my ribbon through the box. And I want my knots to stick out. Sometimes I want them on the inside. So I'm just going to loop it, make my knot. And I'll probably fray up that end just a little bit more make it look a bit more rustic. I'll do the same on the other side. As I say, glue on the googly eyes and you've got yourself a cute little card and box set. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon.